What's going on, guys? All right, so I wanted to do another stock trading update. I haven't done any one in a long time. It's been a while, so I wanted to give you guys a reason for why that was and what I've been up to. Um, so basically, um, about a month ago or so, when Bitcoin was getting ready to shoot up to uh, 13, or it was, it was at 13, it was looking like it was getting ready to take off. <laughs> I was one of those guys that really, really was bullish about it. And I really thought it was going to go up. So I did a really, really big, big mistake. And I took all the money out of my account and I slapped it in there. And then when it went up, I mean, it didn't go up, it dropped. I mean, you guys remember that big crash. So when it dropped, obviously I had lost, um, let's see where we at. I lost twenty five percent of the money at that time, and um, it was actually more than that. But I might have made some of it back. But for the most part, I have been on this like giant losing streak, and I want to tell you guys like why and like what I'm starting to realize and like what I'm going to do to reverse it because this is probably something that's probably happened to everybody who has ever gotten, you know, so far I was basically at about, um, was at 10 K and we dropped down to, you know, around seven. And then I dropped down another, you know, because of the Trump thing. So we're down a little bit, but from where we are right now, it's not the end of the world. It felt like it for a while. So I had to take a break. I was gonna let it ride out. Um, I let it stay down. You know, Bitcoin went down to nine and went back up to 10. So I was like, mm, we lost three grand like that. So I was actually thinking that um, it was gonna recover sometime soon, but it just didn't. Now I know it's gonna recover. So two ideas I had was to one, go ahead and sell that because this is my stock trading account. and. I'm going to go long on Bitcoin. So I was like, I'll just buy it in my wallet. Let me stop trading it on Robinhood because what that's doing to me is it's making me buy and sell the Bitcoin or the crypto. And it's like, that's that's cool. But I don't I don't like trading crypto in Robinhood no more because there's no stop loss. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't see why I'm doing it. Like, it's every time I catch a loss. It makes me ask myself, why am I still trading crypto in Robinhood anyway in the first place? There's no stop loss. So from here on out, um, if I'm going to go long on Bitcoin, I'm going to do it in my wallet. And if I'm going to go from a trade, I'm going to trade it at an actual exchange where I get to, you know, use the tools that you need in order to not lose money. Like stop loss. <laughs> so. I just decided to go ahead, guys, and, and stop trading the crypto here. Um, not fully, but for the most part. What I can do instead is I can go back to my strategy that got me the money in the first place <laughs> and go ahead and start working my way up. So I just wanted to be transparent with you guys. I was down and out about it. I was kind of pissed off because I broke my own rule and I was like, I got punished for it. You know, I got wrecked. So it's cool because luckily for me, I still have a really good business and I was able to recover financially on my own time. So I was able to build up my Bitcoin long position um, in my wallet so I can slowly take the money out of the Bitcoin and replace it with the money that I'm putting in my wallet. So since then, I've already replaced all the money back in the Bitcoin in my wallet. The money that's in my Robinhood account is now in stocks. So I basically went on ahead and and started getting back in the trading again, um, even though because it's like especially right now with the market being as down as it is, I can actually make that 35 percent back through the stocks. I can be in enough good enough companies to make my money back. Um, you know, so I'll be I'll be basically, you know, using my, you know, going back on my strategies and doing the things that I know that helped me to grow my account in the first place. Um, that kind of stuff really, really does. It really does help. 
You know, so I know that if I want to get 35 percent or 20 percent, all I have to do is get back to trading the way I was before. And so we're just going to see how long does it truly take for me to get back up to 10 and get back on track where I was at. And then as far as like Bitcoin shooting up or shooting down, like I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go in and go long. If it drops, I'll just buy more. If it goes up, I'll just buy more. Whatever happens, I'll just buy more because I just want to accumulate so much of it. At this point, I didn't came to the conclusion that that's what I want to do. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, so I still got to liquidate this, this position right here, but it's all good. I, you know, so I mean, for the most part, guys, whenever you destroy your account like that, it's cool. Just don't give up. Get back to it. Um, but like I was actually working and I had a lot of work to do too, so that I can earn the money back. And that's kind of one of the good things. If I mess my trading account up, I can just go back to work and I can work really hard on, you know, marketing and this and that and the other. And then I can just put the money back in my account. So that's one of the things that's awesome about having your own business is that you don't really have to rely on the money that you make from trading, but I'm not doing that no more. I'm going to stick to my risk management strategy and i'm gonna stick to like everything that got me to this point in the first place so if you guys want to stay tuned i'm gonna grow this account i'm so mad about it i'm not letting it up i'm not letting up no more i'm getting ready to take my account back up to the hill so mission was and it still is to get to 25k by the end of this year so that i can start day trading and I'm doing it conservatively now because I, every time I try to rush, every time I skip to break a rule or do some weirdness, I get wrecked, you know? So I realized that I can't do that no more, guys. So, you know, I hope this video was informative. You know, just being transparent, I've lost money. I mean, I made a lot of videos where I lost money, so it's not like I don't lose money and everyone loses money It's the stocks for that. But just sometimes I don't feel like talking about it. So I just was like, Psh, I don't want to talk about it. But I'm back on it, guys. I'm going to make this money. Let's get this money again. All right, guys? So hit the like button. Let me know if, how much you lost. If you, if you, if you, if you got wrecked. <laughs> if you got wrecked, let me know. You know what I'm saying? First, we got to recover this, this $585 that we lost last week from Trump. We got to see what we're going to do to get that back up. And then we're just going to go slow, but we're going to get it back up. So we got to get back up to 7 and back up to 8 and back up to 9 and back up to 10. We got a little ways to go. <laughs> All right, guys. So, all right. Peace.